A ranger caught off its color palette? Let's paint one today. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm back with the last ranger. This is Lynn. She is Zenital highlighted with some matte black skeleton bone and some matte white on top. We're gonna be doing this with some contrast paints today, folks. And we're starting off with some Blood Angels Red. If you're enjoying these videos, please subscribe and like and hit that notification bell so you know when new videos come out. And this Blood Angels Red, I've actually added some um, contrast medium to the entire bottle just so to make it lighter all the time. Because it was pretty dark this one and it always covered up everything. And with a Zenithal highlight, you want those natural highlights like as if there's a lighting source coming from above. And as you can see, the cape does a great job of that. Uh, I love how the cape turned down on this one. I, I'm, this is the most part I love, actually. Next thing we're doing though is Scale 75 Instant Color, some Demon Brown. This is going to be for the inside part of her cloak. So it's also going to be on the sleeve that she has popping out because I figured this was on the inside of her cloak and it would be perfect for that. So anything that's on the inside, uh, I wanted this because it does have a red hint to it. Uh, so it's brown, but a little bit of red to it. So it kind of mixes in perfectly with the cape, as well as keeping like that dark area on the inside a little bit darker than the outside part. Now I'm also going to put this on top of the, the contrast paint to add again just a hint more of shadow, a little touch of brown, but still keep that red undertone. So as you can see what it's doing there, it's just like dulling it, not dulling it, but just darkening it just a bit more. Saigor Brown is next just for this one flap that she has uh, coming down in front. It's very dark brown. It's perfect because it's in the darker areas of the model. So you're gonna want to do that there. Black Templar is next, and this is gonna be for the boots, plain and simple. You want those boots nice and dark. You're gonna put them that, that, that at least they're not brown, you know, so that it's it's a bit different. I got us dunes now, another contrast paint. This is just for that scroll that's popping out, as well as the the book pages that she has on her right side. She has this book attached to her. I don't know if it's spells, I guess. Must be snake bite leather now. Uh, at one point I got confused and forgot what I was doing with this, so I put her down and then just looked at it again and I'm like, okay, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Uh, so we did the arm braces here, we're doing the belts, uh, we're going to do the scroll, and we're going to do uh, the actual book covering of it and her pants as well. Uh, Snakebite Letter is a great contrast paint, by the way, and works great on Zenithal highlighting. Skeleton Horde, we're doing a little skull here. And sorry, no, we weren't using a snake by lead on the scroll, we we're using a skeleton horn on it just to make it look more like papyrus. Amber skin now, this is an army painter skin tone paint, only from their box set of skin tones. We'll be doing this on her face and her hands. There's little areas of her hands, you just gotta be careful near the crossbows. It's not a big deal though, uh, if you get them, because we're gonna be painting over them after. Even when I do the wash, it's not a big deal if you hit those crossbows, because we're gonna be putting some metal paint on that anyways. Fire Slayer Flesh now to finish off the, the skin tone. And of course, you want to let all this stuff dry. You, you see me paint on top of paint sometimes. You're like, oh my god, it's going to run off. No, no, I, I let it dry. Don't worry. Lead Belcher. This is a base paint from Citadel. We're going to be putting this on all her armor platings. Uh, she has a little hilt of the sword here sticking out. This is actually like the scabbard. Uh, but I wanted that tip to be metallic anyway. So that's why I didn't paint that later with the brown or a leather color. Uh, she has a breastplate, she has uh, shoulder guards, and of course, the crossbows themselves. Now, they look like little guns, that's what's kind of cool. It's like she's shooting cuts, she even got one going like gangster style there, like sideways. Uh, it's pretty interesting, this model. I like this model, actually, to be honest. Auric Armor Gold, this is a layer paint. Now, we're just going to be touching up some of the edges, just to highlight that uh, that lead belcher. Now, some of you probably said, why didn't you put a Nolnoa? Why didn't you put a shade? Why didn't you put a con uh, something else on top of it? Well, I kind of liked having her armor kind of shiny, and I didn't really want to touch it that much. I kind of wanted her armor to be the focal point in front, and in the back, I wanted that cape to be really the focal point. So you go, folks. Lynn, the ranger, is ready for the table, all painted up. I hope you enjoyed these video, folks. If you do, please consider subscribing. We're well on our way to 600 subscribers. This is great uh, for the channel. I uh, appreciate it a lot. I want to thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you all in the next one.